Yours? Mine. You two, stand guard over the plane. Sign here. Come on, you. How'd you get? Thanks for the ride and for your so amusing conversation. Is this a prisoner of war camp, Sergeant? Right. It's all yours. This way. I want to see the commanding officer immediately. Does nobody speak in this country? Another German pilot, sir. Name of Franz von Werra. I put him in room 30. Have you spoken to the escort? Yes, sir. But standing orders followed during transit? Yes, sir. Usual routine, sir? Yes, let me have his file. Is there any pre-war record? Yes, sir. He joined the Luftwaffe four years ago. His file's being brought up to date now, sir. be treated like this. I'm an officer. This way, Mr. Ware. Where am I going? To a prisoner of war camp? What rank is he now? He's a full lieutenant, sir.
All right, let's have him. Sir. Waste your time, Captain. Oh, hello. You already have my name, rank and number. I say nothing else. No, of course not. Just wanted to meet you and see if everything was all right. How are they treating you? Are you fairly comfortable? No. I wish to be sent immediately to a prisoner of war camp. Yes, of course you do. Leave it to me. Cigarette? Sit down, Herb Lieutenant. Don't think we need that guard, do we? An inway, Thompson. Right, sir. Let me compliment you on your English, by the way. Very much better than my German. If you think to get anywhere with uh, flattery, Captain, you waste your time. Get anywhere? How do you mean? Is this not an interrogation? Oh, my dear fellow, a chap and smoke by the fire. As for getting any military secrets out of an officer of your standing, well, I know it's just not worth trying. Well, as long as that is understood. Indeed it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, you haven't got an ashtray. <laughs> Souvenir of the old 1418 scrap. I wonder who's going to win this one. <laughs> That's a very silly question, Captain. Oh, you Germans are so supremely confident. Don't you know why? How should I know? I'd like to if it's not giving anything away. I tell you, that's not secret. You must understand, Captain, morale depends on strength. And we are strong. Stronger in every respect. And that's the whole basis of it? Absolutely. The German people are as one man. Our will to victory is unüberwindlich. Um, uh, um, how would you call that? Irresistible. Irresistible. That is our strength. Sounds logical enough. It's simple. Of course, we admire England's courage to go on fighting alone, but uh, it's hopeless. If only you would recognize that. Oberleutnant, you're trying to convert me. It's I who should be trying to break down your morale. <laughs> it's a waste of time. In a few weeks, it will all be over. Same old claptrap. Well, that's all been most enlightening. Thank you. Oh, not at all. Most pleasant. Um, Captain. Yes? One question. When shall I get my personal belongings and uh, when shall I go to a prisoner of war camp? You said one question. When shall I go to a camp? Why did you choose that one, I wonder? Oh, because I, I like to be with other German prisoners. So when shall I go? In due course. Hold up. Air Defense Intelligence, Cockfosters. ADI Cockfosters. ADI K. Hello? Oh, am I London Cage here, sir? Von Vera. Conditioned. Usual sort of thing, I suppose? Not quite the usual. All the routine jargon, of course, but he doesn't believe a word of it. It just happens to suit his own book. Is he a keen 
party member? No, sir. The only thing Von Vera believes in is Von Vera. A mixture of bombast and sheer nerve. Yes, sir, I should say that would be the best line. He's certainly ripe for it. Well, let me have him as soon as you can. Right, sir. I'll have him sent over tomorrow afternoon. Night, sir. Von Vera, Now then, who would you like to be with? We've got quite a few of your chums here. I'll read out a list of the names and you let out a yell. Now, how about um, Leutnant Fritz Wolf? Oberleutnant Heinrich Mannheim? Leutnant Peter Kleinert? No? You will not get my unit that way. Oh, oh never mind. I just thought you'd prefer it, that's all. Uh, let's see. Uh, come along, will you? Oberleutnant von Werra. Sonny, Mensch, ich werde verrückt. Cheer up. It wasn't your unit we wanted. Oh, Karl, Karl! <laughs> wie geht's dir? Wie bist du abgeschossen worden? Wo und wann? Mensch, du kannst dir gar nicht vorstellen, wie... Ruhig. Was? Wie lange bist du schon in diesem Zimmer, Karl? Ja, ungefähr eine Stunde. Warum? Psch. Was ist denn los? Was hast du denn? Irgendwo ist ein Mikrofon hier im Zimmer, ich wette. Die haben es doch nicht ohne Grund zusammen eingesperrt. Fass mal mit an. Is this? A black thing with wires. He's found the dummy. Bright boy. Rather sooner than usual. Wie bist du darauf gekommen? Hm. Fange an, diese Brüder zu verstehen. Kann man das Fenster öffnen? Ja, ich hab's vorhin selbst schon aufgehabt. Glänzende Idee. Wir können uns rauslehnen und keiner kann uns hören. Ja. Wer ist sonst noch hier? Heini Mannheim, Futz Wolf. Wagen und Hartmann sind auch irgendwo. Wen hast du gesehen? Ich? Niemand. Bin ein Einzelhaft seit Tagen. Bist du schon verhört worden? Die erfahren nicht. Die erfahren nichts von mir. Weißt du, dass die Invasion. Schnauze Karl. Oh, der. Die Jungs haben uns aufs Kreuz gelegt. Hello, RAF. Intelligence. Hello, RAF. I am looking for the microphone hidden near the window of my room. This is Oberleutnant von Werra calling the RAF. Are you receiving me? Vera calling and testing. You, over lightnant. Out. I want to see the commanding officer. Later. I need a wash and a shave. Later. Something to read. Later. Verdammt, I have to go to the lavatory. Later. Well then, when do I have the interrogation, Sergeant? Later. Now.
13 aircraft shot down in combat. Six destroyed on the ground. That's quite a score, Oberleutnant. Let me warn you, squadron leader. I do not talk. As a minor ace of the first war, I'm privileged to meet a major ace of the second. Perhaps it was you who shot me down the other day? You mentioned your unit a moment ago. I told you I will not reveal. And I wondered which of your friends in the headquarters staffel of the second grouper of number three fighting a Schwader will look after Simba, your lion cub, now that your deathless exploits with that unit have come to an end. Uh, your old friend Sonnemann, perhaps. How? You've come a long way since you joined the Luftwaffe in 1936, haven't you? From obscure private to Oberleutnant Franz von Werner, cover boy of the magazine. Competition for promotion so keen in the Luftwaffe, your flair for publicity has served you well. While other pilots keep dogs, falcons, pigs as pets, you have a pet lion cub. German radio magazine, Her Mit Me, dated 24th of August, 1940. With German bombers overhead, it's a pity you are so concerned with the lion cub of a captured pilot. What about this one? You're leaning on the wing of a Messerschmitt. This could be anybody. Any of a thousand German pilots. It lets you down, doesn't it? That signet ring. And the rigid forefinger. I tell you nothing. Don't you? It's not my fault if magazines admit my unit. They don't. You do. This Leutnant is... Care to tell me the date of your promotion, or shall I tell you? It followed your celebrated broadcast of August 30th, surely. You surpassed yourself then, Oberleutnant. The German radio described your action as the greatest fighter exploit of the war. Remember? I do not know what you speak about. Deutschland Sender, 1571 meters. 1800 hours, British summer time, in German, for Germany. Die Themse lang to yourself, bis Oberlöcher. zur Mündung und dann äh, quer über den Kanal. Während ich auf die Mündung zufliege, sehe ich plötzlich zu meiner Linken, ungefähr 300 Meter vor mir, sechs Hurricanes in aufgeschlossener Form. Six Hurricanes. Circling over a field, I hit on the idea of pretending to be part of the English squadron. As I understand it, you claim that while you were over a British airfield, you shot down three hurricanes, possibly four, as they were going into land, and destroyed five more on the ground. Prefer to read it? Tell me something, Oberleutnant. Where exactly was this airfield? I should like to know where so distinguished an action took place. We have no record of it. It has nothing to do with me. Come, are you so modest? I know nothing about it. Or so ashamed. Now, you could persuade the German public to swallow such rubbish, but you never dreamed of being faced with it by the British, did you? But even your own people, do they really believe you can tag along behind six hurricanes and not be noticed? Have they never heard of the tail end Charlie, whose job it is to protect the rear? Do they think we can't tell a hurricane from a Messerschmitt? The difference in size, black cross, swastika. And what about the airfield control tower? It has nothing to do with me. 
This man's name is von Verer, E-R. My name ends with A. And he is a lieutenant. Look. Is that the best you can do? Tell me. Supposing your comrades were to hear the truth about this notable exploit of yours. Their achievements are genuine. What kind of a life do you think you'll lead among them in a prison camp when they know that your glory is largely fictitious? If I wear this Lieutenant von Verer, if I wear, I would answer you, tell my friends what you like. They would say, but naturally, the RAF will not admit the loss of nine hurricanes that afternoon. Why not? We usually do when it's true. How do you prove it untrue to the friends of Lieutenant von Verer? So it is his word, the word of a German officer and fellow prisoner against yours, an enemy interrogator. Which do you think they shall believe? You or him? And then I would ask myself, what is it you want? Even if you could prove Lieutenant von Verer's claims untrue, I would still not give you military information to keep you silent. If I were that officer. Here's another version of your story that your friend Harry Game wrote for the Berliner Zeitung. He spells your name correctly and mentions your promotion. Now you can speak for yourself. The answer is the same. No. You admit to this, then? You have perhaps the power to make it hard for me to live with my comrades. But if I were to give you military information, I would not be able to live with myself. Unique code of ethics, Oberleutnant. Now, shall I go to a prison camp? You ask that question too often. You're not going to escape. Squadron leader, I bet you a magnum of champagne to ten cigarettes. I do escape within six months. Daily inspection in 20 minutes, sir. Oh, thank you. Well, you'd better read this. Well, it appears the Germans have decided to postpone their invasion of this country. You know what that means. Their attempts to escape, sir. I don't see anybody getting out of this place. It would be intended to see. I shall want a general tightening up all round. Have you got your notebook? Sir. In the last months, there have been many plans from officers who are in the camp a long time. You are here only ten days. What is the hurry? Trying to get your name in the English papers now. <laughs> what are you trying to prove all the time, that you're a fine fellow? Everybody knows it. Except von Vera, who is just a little not so sure. The Wehrmacht will soon invade this country. Why escape now? The invasion is postponed, I have told you. Impossible. I do not believe it. You do not wish to believe it. I do. And I want to escape. Somebody must tell the high command of these British interrogation methods. I did not talk. You did not talk. But many have. And more will. They must be warned. <laughs> anyway, I don't like barbed wire. Hmm. What is your plan? 
My plan is this. The daily exercise march. As we leave the camp, we sometimes turn to the right, sometimes left. Right is no use. We must turn left and follow this road. Here we hold for a rest by this wall. So, the Tommies always rest on the other side of the road, here. Go on. Behind the other officers, I get on the wall, like this. And wait for the end of the rest period. Then, I drop below the wall, like this. And then run. All this way, behind the wall, I'm out of sight of the Tommies. Here, beyond this band, still out of sight, I cross the road into the woods and hide till the night falls. And then, this is an island. Then across country to Liverpool, a neutral ship. Good afternoon, Wilson. Afternoon, sir. And what if the guards do not stay where they usually stay? You will be seen on the wall. One must have luck sometime. If something breaks the routine, if a truck, anything at all, comes along that road, finish. I come. One thing would help much, to have the exercise march in the afternoon instead of the morning. There would be less time to wait for darkness. Be considerate. Up, sentry! We'll start with the common room, Major. David. Gentlemen, any complaints? A word of warning. In the new circumstances, of which you are no doubt aware, some of you may be contemplating escape. Let me dissuade you from any such folly. If you should get out of this camp, which is in the highest degree unlikely, the surrounding country is such that you'd probably die of hunger or exposure. That's all. Oh, a request, Herr Commandant. Yes? Just to have the exercise march in the afternoon instead of the morning. Why? In the morning, we have our educational classes. Oh, very well. Make a note of that, Singleton. Sir. Something's hatching. Prisoners always have complaints as a matter of principle. When they haven't, then you watch. I was a prisoner myself once. I recognize the shining eye. Do you think it has something to do with the exercise march, sir? What's the usual strength of the escort? A mounted sergeant and four men, sir. Well, see that that's doubled. And I'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Did you escape, sir? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Give me area headquarters, and then the police. All right, gentlemen. 
whatever happens, they must turn left. Stop at the usual place, Sergeant. When you quite finished foddering your horse, Sergeant. Stop. Women 
for you. Wave into a lot of Jerry's. Oh, come on. Sergeant. Stand still. Twenty-three, sir. Should be twenty-four. Twenty three, sir. Get after him, Sergeant. Where are we halted? Corporal Wilson, inform the CO. There's a call box in the village. Yes, sir. Right. Tell Mr. Singleton, bring them back immediately. If there's any breakaway, shoot to kill. Get me the area commander. Priority. Grisdell here, sir. Anti-escape plan B. One German officer, direction almost certainly west. Constant police, priority. in the capital. Some damage was done in a town in the southwest of England, and the balloon barrage at Dover was twice attacked. A German Air Force officer escaped from a military camp in the northwest of England at a quarter past three this afternoon. He was dressed in a blue shirt, 
black leather jacket and trousers, and black boots or shoes. He was wearing no hat or overcoat. This man has fair hair, blue eyes, is clean shaven, and the forefinger of the right hand is stiff and straight. Any information about this prisoner should be given immediately to the authorities. That is the end of the news. Yes, sir. Five days now. He was last reported four miles from the coast, but he may have doubled back, of course. Oh, yes. We're combing the entire area between Coniston and Dudden River tomorrow. The army from the north and the police from the south and east. Yes, we'll get him. Nothing, sir. Confounded nuisance, the whole affair. Oh, I don't know. Useful anti paratroop exercise. Good for us. Yes, sir.
case you must be mistaken, sir. You see that patch of rough turf? Yes, sir. Walk towards it. Right, sir. This way, sir. Go on. Watch your feet. ground sheet or something. Under the terms of the Geneva Convention, I can sentence you to 30 days solitary confinement. It's the duty of an officer to try to escape. Twenty-one days solitary confinement. After that, you'll be transferred to another camp. Station to Swanwick. Sorry, old boy, no more trains going that way tonight. Never mind if I ring up the camp, get them to collect this character. Artie, uh, try the phone next door. Oh, thanks. Yes, yes. Oh, 0800 hours, four carriages reserved. Yes. Oh, 0815 hours. Yes. What? This is an air rate Come signal. On. Sending a truck for him now. Telegram. Where's this Swanick? You'll find out. You won't get out of there. The Swanick Construction Company is in business.
nochmal. Okay. Stop it again. Settle our bet, huh? I say the British uh, identity discs give name, number, and religion. My friend says no. Which is it? You know, Mr. Weir, see for yourself. Ah, I win. You see? C of E, Church of England. That's right. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Okay. Let's go over the plans once again, hmm? We all meet at the farm, then separate. Walter and Heinz? Sheffield, and then Glasgow. We stow away on a neutral ship. Yes, and Johannes and Ernst Manchester, then Liverpool. And you, Franz? I'm Captain Willem van Lott, Dutch pilot. Mixed Special Bomber Squadron, based at Dice, Aberdeen. Yeah, but Franz, uh, you never tell us what you go to do. I'm going to steal a British aeroplane. Listen. Here they come again. Thank you. 
Walter. What is that? For my girlfriend in Hamburg. She has a great passion for chocolate. I see. Well, that's a beautiful thought, Walter. Don't forget, at the farm. Viel Glück. the telephone, please? I uh, crashed in a Wellington. Huh? I'm a pilot. I crashed. Forced landing. Down there. Get away. Look, I must telephone the nearest RAF airfield. Telephone. Oh, oh, oh yeah, telephone. They got one in the office. Now, take me there. You're not English. <laughs> no, Dutch. Oh, up here. Um, can he use the phone? He's a Dutch pilot. Is that a crash? I must get to the nearest RAF aerodrome immediately. At a crash, have you? Where? In the fields, um, near the railway. <laughs> yes, it's about, um, I would say it's about two or three miles from here. Uh -huh. What about your crew? Oh, we were very lucky. The crew's with the Wellington. But I must get them picked up and returned to my base in Aberdeen. So, will you please use the phone and... It's very urgent. Uh, no, thank you. The 622 is just coming up. Do you mind if... Uh... No, no, carry on. Give me the police station, will you? No, no, RAF, please. Uh, RAF. Hello, police. A Codner Park booking office here. There's a fellow here says he's a Dutch airman, crashed about a couple of miles down the line. He says his name's... Captain Van Lott. Captain Van Lott. Yes, Dutch, he says. Wellington. Yes, he seems all right to me. Better if you do. Right-o. Why call the police? I must get to an aerodrome. Well, they won't be long, and they can help you better than I can. Long than those people. Sally. Here she is, Jim. Like Leville, thank you. Must get to an aerodrome. Oh, the police won't be long, and then Hockner's only a few miles away. Don't worry. Hockner? Oh, yes, Hockner, yeah, that's uh, long range bombers, isn't it? The training field, I thought. Look, I. Um... I tell you in confidence. I'm of a special bomber squadron. Last night, we tried out a new bomb site. And now, crash. Understand? I must return to my base at once. Dippy. All right, I'll ring Hucknall for you. I totally can't do any harm. Oh, thank you very much. They will send a car for me. Hello, give me the RA of Hucknall, please, miss. Oh, look here, you better give me your, your unit and so on. Um, right, write it down there, will you? Uh -huh. Who 
Who shall I ask for? Oh, uh, commanding officer. Hello, are you a football? Oh, could I speak to the commanding officer, please? Uh, Codner Park Station. What? No, no, no railway station. Codner Park Rail LMS. Yes. Look, I, I've got a Dutch pilot here. Says he's crashed in a Wellington. Who? Oh, hold on, will you? Will the duty officer do? Oh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, just as good. <laughs> well, hello, a Codner Park working office here. Look, about this Dutch pilot who's crashed in a well. Well, somebody's got to do something about him. I said he wants transport to Hutnall. All right, hold on. He wants to talk to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Captain Munlott, who's that? Duty officer Hucknall here. I gather you've had a spot of trouble. What's it all about? Yeah. I see. Uh, where are you based? Dice? Oh, where's that? Oh, Aberdeen, yes, I know. Um, it's funny, we, we, we haven't heard of the crash. Special what? Oh, no, no, I mustn't talk about it over the phone. So if, uh... If you shall send a car for me, please, there will be a plane to come from Aberdeen. It's very urgent. Yes. Well, I suppose we'll have to. All, all right, old boy. I'll get the duty car to come and fetch him. Oh, about a um, quarter of an hour. Goodbye. Duty car, sir? Uh, yes. Look, I want you to run over to Codner Park Station and pick up an officer called Captain Van Lott. Captain Van Lott, sir? Yes, he's Dutch. Or so he says. And bring him here. You'd better take my pistol. He may be genuine. Probably is, but you never know. Uh, don't let him catch on. Treat him as you would a British pilot. All right, you can go. Yes, sir. And he's not to leave the car until you've dumped him here at HQ, got it? All right, sir. Cram, cram, cram. And that was the new bomb site. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Wish I could tell you, but, you know. So suddenly, we were caught in the, uh, in the uh, searchlight, and... Um, when is that car coming? Oh, shouldn't be long now. Huckman's not far away. Oh, there's the car. Thank you very much, gentlemen. And, uh, oh, would you please explain to the policeman that I cannot wait? Thank you very much. Well, I've given you up. There's a car coming for him from Auckland now. Can see Deitch? A little. Most um, Dutch people do. Coastal command, I hope. Yes, yes, we bombed Espiog last night. <laughs> I nearly bought it, I tell you. Pancake to Wimpy, did you? Yes, yes, we were very lucky. Uh, came back on one engine. The you say they're sending a car from Hofnall? I spoke to the duty officer myself. Yes, I had a word with him too. Seems satisfied, did he? <laughs> Why not? What's the hurry to get to Hucknall? Oh, uh, I have to return to my base at once. You see, we tested a new bomb site last night. Now I have to report immediately. You better keep that to yourself. Why didn't you bring the rest of your crew with you? <laughs> Leave secret equipment not guarded, huh? What I don't understand, sir, is why the crash hasn't been reported. What time did it happen? About uh, four o'clock, I think. Where? Oh, it'll be in the fields west of Langley Mill. There was one crash there a month or two back, remember? Well, how could you see where you were coming down? Oh, airman's luck, you know. Did you hear the all clear? 
Yes, of course, about an hour after we crashed. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at your identity papers. Sergeant, you know as well as me, airmen are forbidden to take personal papers on bomb attacks. And I'm of a special squadron. Captain Van Lott. Yeah, that's me. Your transporter hunt, no, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm coming. Gentlemen, I thank you very much. Excuse me, please. Good luck and uh, so long. Better drive me straight to the control tower. Perhaps they have news of the plane that comes for me from Aberdeen. I'm sorry, sir. My orders are to take you straight to HQ. But it shall be only a minute. I beg pardon, sir. I must obey orders. Well, doesn't matter. Would have saved time. Ah, oh, hurricanes. Oh, yes, sir. Experimental works, that is. Civilian. Very hush hush. Oh, yes. Captain Van Lotzer. Ah, good. Oh, would you like me to go? No, 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 you needn't wait. I'm so sorry to trouble you. Van Lott. Oh, good morning. I, I go and wait by the control tower for my plane from Aberdeen. Oh, no, no, it's warmer in here. Yes, sir, but I'm in a hurry, see? Oh, well, control will ring me as soon as your aircraft reports. Uh, come over by the fire. <sighs> Nippy. <laughs> Take off your flying suit. No, oh, no, 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 thank you. That's not worth the while. Thank you very much. You had breakfast. You like some hot coffee? I had breakfast with the station man at Cottonough. Thank you very much. Oh. Yes, while, while we had tea, the police arrived. Oh. <laughs> it was very funny. The police, they saw you. Right? Yes, sir. Uh... Were they satisfied? Oh, yes, yes, of course, yes. They were angry with the station man because he wasted their time. <laughs> but then they wished good luck to me and uh, everybody, friends. <laughs> As grand types. <laughs> um, by the way, how does your base know that you've crashed? Oh, I telephoned them before. It's, uh, they, they, they said they'll send a plane for me. Oh, I see. Well, um... If you'll just hang on a moment, I'll check with them. Uh, uh, Dice, Aberdeen, but, but uh, the plane will arrive any minute. Oh, well, you know how it is. Red tape and... Uh, uh, hello? Um, would you get me the station adjutant at Dice, Aberdeen? Yes. And hurry it up, there's a good girl. Hot, isn't it? Yes. Ruin your uniform under that flying suit. Oh, no, no, no. Perfectly all right. Thank you very much. Well, let's get the gen on the crash. Uh, what time was it? Four o'clock. Oh, 400. The uh, railway yards at Ham, wasn't it? Esbjerg, Denmark. That's the first I've heard of British raids on Denmark. <laughs> we started last night. Oh. Uh, got your 12.50? Uh, 12.50, yes. Uh, nice flying suit, there. Eh? It, uh, fleece-lined? Yes, yes, it's fleece-lined. It's, uh, I, I wore that before the war when I was pilot for, uh, for KLM Amsterdam. Duty officer. No, oh, it's you. Uh, yes, all right. Air Red Green. Well, you were going to show me your 1250. Yes, sir. Uh, I remember I did not bring it with me. I cannot take it in the air. You see, Special Squadron. Oh. No, I suppose not. Well, uh, you must have something to identify you. 
Oh, what about your identity discs? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> oh, silly to forget. Yeah. Duty officer. Oh, yes, good. Put me through. Dice. Hello? Hello. Dice? Station adjutant? Oh, this is Hucknall. We have one of your pu uh, pilots uh, here. Lavatory, you see. A Van Lott. Come back. No, Van Lott. Hello? Hello? Yes, he, he's a Dutchman. Operator, I've been cut off. I was talking to Dice Aberdeen. Good morning. I'm Captain Von Lott, Royal Netherlands Air Force. I um, have seen the duty officer. He said that you can show me the controls of the hurricane, uh, that I can uh, have a little trial flight. So, um, which one is ready? This one? You've come to the wrong place, sir. This is government experimental. Yes, of course, of course, we know. But the, the duty officer said I must come to see you. Ah, uh, you're one of the ferry pilots from White Waltham, are you? Air Transport Command. Yes, yes, naturally. Well, that's different, sir. You'll have to see the AID blokes. Yes. Yes, sir. I see them later. You, sh you show me first the controls, will you? I'm afraid I can't do that, sir. You'll have to sign the visitor's book oh. first and then do a lot of paperwork. I'll get the manager for you. Come to collect the Mark II Hurricane, have yes. you? Let's get your paperwork fixed up. Oh, it won't be long. I j just want to know the controls. Well, you can't do anything until you've signed the visitor's book. It won't take a minute. Oh. Here we are. If you'll just fill in the details along the next line, sir. Yes. to fill that in full? No, it doesn't matter. Just put C, C A I D. Oh, yes, yes. Here we are. Good. Got your written order for collection? Oh, yes, yes. The parachute and the papers uh, shall come to the plane, due to land, any moment now. Mm-hmm. I think I, I have the instructions on the controls, huh? To, to save some time, all right? Right, oh, quite in order now you've signed in. Hmm. Harry, take the captain over to the hurricane and explain the controls right away. He'll fix you up. Thank you. No smoking. <laughs> Sorry. Well, she is bigger than the old Hurricane, isn't she? Bigger? Faster? More guns? Got everything it says. 
Uh, compass. How would you uh, set that for 120 degrees, for instance? Uh, I see. Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh -huh. Hydraulic brakes, injection pump. Start that one. Whoa! Don't do that, sir. She won't start without a trolley act. Get me one, then. I'm sorry, but I really am in a hurry. Contact? Oh, yes. Ye yes, contact. Get out. <sighs> At least the other four are free. This movement of prisoners to Canada, sir. POW administration have asked for a list of any you'd like to keep here for further interrogation. Well, who are you thinking of? Yeah, what about Von Vera, sir? Oh. oh, I wouldn't want to deprive him of a nice, healthy sea voyage. In fact, I'd recommend a special escort for Von Vera to make quite certain he gets there. And so, our long sojourn in England is over. As we march out of this camp, as we begin the long journey to Canada... Canada? I have been to Canada. Thousands of kilometers away from home. I know home. quite well. It lies next to the United States. A neutral country. ...and see Germany. But as we take up our burdens, our thoughts turn to our loved ones. Our hearts go back to the homeland. Yeah. And the ultimate victory! Yeah. Think higher! Think higher! Think higher! Collect your sandwiches on the way out. Nothing? Something. Nobody knows where the camp is. Only that we land in Halifax. But from Halifax, it's uh, a long journey on a train. Sergeant, where do we go? Or uh, is that secret? Well, I guess it won't do any harm to tell you. The orderlies know anyway. Lake Superior, Ontario. Nice. New place. Thank you. River. On the other side, the United States. Beyond Montreal. Mm -hmm. Any time beyond Montreal. Hmm? Better than a mile ahead. Thank you. Thank you.
Double window. Is it fixed? Frozen up. All right, pay attention. You're going to be on this train for at least four days. If any of you got ideas about jumping out, forget them. We're ready for you, inside the train and outside. You men who speak English, translate. That's all. Anybody want an apple? Oh, yeah. Help yourself. What's that in there? I don't know. What's that in there? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Some more heat. All right, all back to your seats. This is the station. Well, Come on, move yourselves. It won't be long. We only stop for a couple of minutes. Come on, you guys, back to your seats. Back to your seats. Come on. 
Back to your seat, boy. Miss Smith Falls, I guess. And we got another two days of this. My relation there. I'm a Dutch seaman. Oh, you don't say. Yes, um, I have been torpedoed twice in the Atlantic. Now I'm looking for a job on land. <laughs> uh, uh, so, or maybe, maybe on the river? At this time of year you won't. It's clean froze over. So? Yep. Imagine that. Just a little walk across. And there it is. The United States. Yeah, an immigration patrol. Me, I don't know if their job's to keep them out or keep them in. What are you stopping here for? Quick, where's the phone? One of them's got away.
this America? Where am I? You're in Agensburg, fella. America? That's right. Agensburg, USA. Officer of the German Air Force. I am. I was. Prisoner of war. I claim. the protection of a neutral country. You ain't claiming anything, fella. I'm taking you in. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very witty, to be sure. If he gets back to Germany, eh? Oh, we might have to revise the system of interrogation a little. <laughs> <laughs>